Hi guys, this is Sanjay and we at DesignX Studio have come up with a six day design workshop for the design entrance exams. Doesn't matter which entrance exam you're appearing for, this workshop will definitely help you. Now, what is this design workshop all about? So here are a few details about the workshop. Now, every day you'll have access to videos of different topics. Talking about topics, we had done an extensive research about different topics that students face difficulty in. Now, based on that research, we have finalized these particular topics for five days. Now, on day one, you'll have videos on human proportions and perspective. On day two, you'll have videos on light and shadows and creativity. Likewise, on day three, you'll have mechanical ability and spatial ability. On day four, you'll have a lecture on design thinking and problem solving. Day five has story writing and color theory. And after each of these videos, you'll have assignments to solve. And now on day two and day four, we have a live session in the evening from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And on, in the live sessions, we will be discussing how you're going to apply these basics or these advanced techniques in the exam and how you can solve questions in the exam and also how to present your solutions in the exam. Now on day six, you'll have an expert from our side who will answer all your doubts regarding the exams. So all of this, we have priced it at just $4.99 because we want everybody to have access to this particular workshop. So go ahead and register for the six day design workshop today itself. And on January 10th and 12th, we are launching DesignX Aid, which is All India Design Exam for SEED and UCED. You have two exams, one on January 10th and January 12th. So these exams are both based on the previous year's pattern and you will have a real-time experience of a live test right before the exam. And we will roll out the results the very next day and you'll get an All India rank as well. There are two tests, like I mentioned, January 10th and 12th, both of them included in this course, which cost you just 99 rupees and the seats are limited. So register today. Now with that being said, let's get into the video where we're going to discuss about seed 2020 question paper. Form, visualize the form of the mixer grinder body matching the design language of the given jar. Same thing, design language. Hmm. Catch and render the body with the jar. Use the same perspective as that given in the jar. Okay. The rational evaluation criterion or regionality, the form of the body, proportion, consistency, details, shading, quality of lines. Okay. This is may, a... What is the design language? What are the different elements that you can uh, hmm. take out which form the design language for this jar? Anyone, Swati? What what all elements do you consider ki kya, they will form the base for my design language for the the blades the blades included in the mixer grinder? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, am the, I seeing the blades? I think the bottom like, part of the jar. This part. Yeah, yeah, this one. Mm. Okay. All right. So it depends on what we see. It won't be like the whole jar thing. like Because okay. I can't see the blades, I can't include that. It, it Never. Yeah, I don't think I can see blades also. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, the surface. The, the surface. surface that has been... Little, this is the yes. acrylic. This is the rubber. Yeah. Okay. The structure of the jar. 
very nice yeah that then now you're on the right track now you're on the right track perfect structure of the jar okay if you notice uh, it is almost uh, conical or uh, sort of like a frustum and uh, an oval thing at the top you know see this proportion also generally kya hota hai ki uh, for these jars if you have noticed yeah. that's why i said sketch frequently notice things around you sketch objects around you generally agar dekhe honge all these jars they have a small lid ब्लैक बैंडचर Now, if you look at the whole structure, you know, almost very curvy. The whole thing, it is not, not very, uh, you know, rectangular or very um, sharp. It is very curvy. Gives a very soft feeling. Soft, curvy. That is the design language. Yeah. Sanjay sir, you would like to add? yeah i think uh, that's pretty uh, pretty much about the design language i'll uh, try to get into the uh, details of it now hmm. uh, like they say that they have specifically mentioned the details like buttons knobs and indicators hmm. and uh, so you will make the body in consist uh, consistent with the form of the jar okay so they have already given you clues in the exam itself like they said mm-hmm. you have to match the design language and then they are telling you like okay it has to be consistent with the form of the jar mm-hmm. they are giving you the answer there itself and then the rest of the things are just your skills right now when we talking about details notice how uh, the steel thing has a line just below mm-hmm. the you know the handle there's a horizontal the circular line that is going there's a groove so, sort of a groove right that That's line cool. and then the vertical also there's a gro- groove sort of a thing so those kind of elements you can use in the body also even also. if it is plastic or whatever material mm-hmm. it is mm-hmm. you can use it in the uh, and those could be highlighted with the blue color because yeah it it is used in the handle right so and uh, buttons and knobs could also now this again comes from your observations ki mixi mein kaun se kaun se buttons kaise hote hain knobs kaise hote hain yes ya to uska dial hai you just uh, there are mixies where you just you know turn like twist the dial and it goes it grinds faster or indicators what are those indicators there, everything is observational sab kuch hai and you know mixi dobara this uh, Mixes are won't come again in the ah. question ever. So uh, there'll be some random objects. So suppose I ask you, ki uh, ek iron me, you know, jo knob hota hai, usme kaun kaun se features hota hai. So or or if I ask you, ki uh, take any other uh, mechanical component, say an oven, oven me kaun kaun se features hota hai. dying so you know it's all about observation if you have observed it well you will be able to decipher what all buttons are there what all yeah. knob indicators are there power button kahan hota hai is it separate from the start stop button is there a speed regulator so okay the second part is perspective uh, hmm right okay you can take an hb pehle to make the jar as it is Hmm. take a lighter pencil and uh, first determine what perspective it is kept in okay, almost yeah. i have a cheat cheat here hmm. uh you guys can judge me all you want but i would take the paper put it hmm. on the screen and see what okay. perspective it is and i'm thinking the same 
डू दैट बिल्कुल कर लो नो बडी स्टॉपिंग यू सी दिनर इन दिनल हॉल इज समर्ड का क्लास टीचर मैथ्स का शी डजन नो ये क्या एग्जाम है क्या आता है इसमें शी इज नॉट गिवन एनी ट्रेनिंग सीट का एग्जाम है देखना बच्चे कोई पेपर ना लगा रहे हो स्क्रीन पे कोई नहीं बोलता do whatever you want yeah so i'll just uh, make the boxes you know perspective boxes just like ashish sir made and i would also make an indication of the handle because this becomes trickier when you have to draw it like copy it right copy so just copy it <laughs> hmm yeah. copy it okay so once you've copied it i would say just make this perspective box hmm Use a three H, two H, very light pencil, and make the examiner know also that you took this because they are talking about uh, proportion. Yeah, they are talking about consistency with the form of the jar. So take a two H, three H, make the perspective box, and in the same perspective, you can continue to make the rest of the body, and uh, you won't mess up with the proportion or anything. Yes. Also, even if you copy it, make it look like you have sketched it. Okay. Exactly. Uh, I have a question. Yes. In this, it says like uh, this says visualize a form of a mixer grinder, and then you have to sketch it out. So, do you have to just exactly draw what you see, or do you ha- what I didn't get? Like, is it like the icon question? Or... Oh no. Uh... I didn't get what they said. Do you have to visualize the form and sketch it out? Okay. See. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll just have a detour. I'll just open Google for a second. Uh, grinder. Access. I'll just share the screen again. See the different kind of mixer grinders. It has almost a very curvy sort of shape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one has a flat top. Doesn't have that uh, rounded thing, and it has a different sort of a design. This has a different design. What we call these things are basically the form. Look at this one. It has almost a very mechanical, you know, rectangular kind of a structure. This one has a very curvy, very soft kind of a feeling when I look at it. This is good for a household. Probably this is this should can be kept inside an office or it's with someone who's very, you know, uh, likes very sophisticated, uh, you know, modern things. This might be in a typical. Uh, middle class family small jar so these are the forms this is the form of okay. the object this is the form of the product uh, take for example this very minimalistic very basic take this for example it has a very uh, soft yet it is pointed at some areas in this almost very flowy sort of a design so very feminine very feminine yeah very good tightly put if you look at this our controls that a separate thing also probably is uh, designed for a younger audience say 30 to 40 yeah because okay these are with someone who wants to keep it for a lifetime very basic colors very basic form is able is being understood by even a young or a elderly this is more kept in mind with the younger audience modernistic futuristic okay so this is what we mean by form okay so uh one okay. yeah. exercise that you could do for this is to get more practice oh, there is a really, really good exercise i think i shared it yesterday's dance session also identify the 
objects let's say this is a mixer grinder now uh, there is a grinder uh, circular grinder bhi hota hai which uh, butterfly company ka hai aur uh, there are different different companies so there's grinders there's uh, hand blenders hmm. there is uh, also uh, furniture for that matter three seater five seater seven seater right so <clears throat> these are the products that have different components okay even for furniture you have three seater and then uh, one seater and then uh, two seater so they all come together to form a furniture set right so the hand blender also can be detachable and use like uh, you know uh, the blade becomes a different part of it so once you start noticing these kind of products you would notice that how they are uh, i mean they look like they're from the same product even when they're detached okay so practice uh, identifying those objects and also drawing look at a sofa and then maybe you're looking at a three seater draw one seater for that okay so this is a good idea for that uh, good uh, exercise this kind of questions okay so okay. this in this question we have to uh, look at the form and like the elements of this and then make one which has a similar element exactly Mm. and you have to sketch not not so this was a different question you have to simplify the thing you know icons are uh, suppose you go to a restaurant and uh, the uh, washroom if you see they don't have a you know male ka photo and a female ka photo they just have simplified it in such a way that uh, this represents a human suppose they would disabled wala hota hai so they have made a wheelchair and they made something like this they have just simplified the whole thing so this is icons are you have to read the question and you have to realize what they are asking icons are basically simplified things isme they have not talked about that at all they have just said visualize the form sketch and render the body of the jar so they want to have the actual body something that resembles this jar so it is not simplifying that's a different question okay all right ठीक okay. है so continuing so uske baad you have the perspective then you want to do anything you want you can uh make the whole form any way you like first you can uh, use an hb or a 2b to make the whole thing and then you can add all the curves or any thing you want to add you want to make some grooves something that resembles this language that depends on you you want to make the knob around here you want to make this and you want to make this more curvy then you can do all the things that you want the body give as much detail detail as possible mm-hmm. and then just at the end just highlight the part that you want give a good shade and you're done 